Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be casting this domino box mould and showing you how to put it together because it is actually quite an easy mould as long as you follow some simple guidelines to it and also it is quite easy once you know how to put it together because it comes with no instructions or most of them come with no instructions. So I'm going to go through the casting and what you must and mustn't do and also the building of what you must and mustn't do. And I'm going to use some clear resin for this alongside some dried flowers. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and ring that notification bell so it notifies you when I've got a new video coming out. I've got my resin mixed up and what I'm using here is Resin Colours Art Resin and the reason it's a little bit cloudy is it's quite cold on the day that I mix this up but I'm not worried it will always cure up and cure up completely crystal and bubble free. Now one of the things that is really important when you're doing this is please do not over pour this because if you make these too thick there is no way you're even going to get this into anywhere that you want it. I'd just like to say a quick thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. Thank you very much for being a member of my channel. I hope you're enjoying all the additional perks and the live streams and the bloopers. If you'd like to become a member, then the link to that is in the description below. Because I've only poured in just to the very edges, I'm using this stick to ensure that everything is right to those edges. And just using a pair of tweezers to pop these flowers down and I go in at an angle and then push them down and give them a little bit of a jiggly wiggly and then push over them with the tweezers. And that way you don't get the trap bubbles underneath the flowers of even the bigger ones. So as you can see, in at an angle, giving it a bit of a wiggly wiggly. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, just to say thank you for any of my videos and help support this channel and get your name on the coffee board for next month, which will be redone soon, then the link for that is in the description below. It's really appreciated. So again, just popping these flowers into this resin and pushing them down with the tweezers. I do the wipe the tweezers off as I go. So all the flowers are now in, and as you can see, it's cleared beautifully. And I'm just going over to check and see if there are any bubbles that have come to the surface and that there hasn't really been too many at all. Any of the flowers that come up, now's the time to push them down because it means you have got a little air bubble under it and get the little air bubble out. Go over it again with my lighter and let it cure for 24 hours. This is all nicely cured now and lovely and clear and the flowers look great from this side. So I'm hoping they look just as good from the other side. Now, I'm also hoping that I haven't over poured this. Oh yeah, I really do like that. And the only way to tell is by taking it out and testing it. If you have over poured, then it isn't a loss because you can still go over it with a bit of sandpaper or a sharp blade and scrape it down but it is easier if you haven't so how i'm going to test this is i'm going to see if it fits in here oh it is a bit tight look it broke a bit off it look <sighs> Right, well, I have broke a bit off it, but that is not to say that it isn't going to go together. So what you need to do is you need to ensure that you've got these bits here glued on to here like this so that and with that bit has broken off it's not going to matter too much because I'm going to be able to kind of cover that up and you want one on there like that and then you want one on the other end like so I've got a groove going here and there and I've got a groove going here 
and there. I'm just going to pop a bit of UV resin along there, making sure I don't get it into the grooves. And it's really important to line that up so that your grooves are completely aligned and it's also flush at the back because if not, it's not going to work. Now what you can do to help this out is put a wooden stick there like that and that will help you out because it will keep everything aligned. Now let's cure that up. And I have to say, I do think these are a little bit hit and miss as well. It's not what I would consider to be the ideal box or the ideal mould for a box. But we will see if it works. So that should be nicely aligned and it is. If you can see there, look, that is now nicely aligned. And putting that stick there really does help keep that nicely aligned. But that doesn't mean to say that when I've put all this together that it's going to nicely align. Believe me, I know. I've had quite a few fails at this. And if it fails again, to be perfectly honest, I ain't doing another one. I'm chucking the mould away. <laughs> and thank you to the Crafty Nook as well for showing me how to put this box together. I will definitely link her channel in the description below. It's a you it's a quite a new channel, but she is brilliant at lots of the stuff that she does. I love her channel and she's such a lovely person as well that it's worth definitely checking out her channel. There we go. So that one should also now be setting in there nicely. I can take that stick out. And this has come out really pretty. I love these flowers. I will link everything that I've used today in the description below. Don't worry about that. So if you want to get hold of these flowers or this mould or anything that I've used, especially this nicely high-powered UV torch, it makes a big difference than these like little cheaper, smaller ones that kind of don't do nothing. Don't do nothing! So once you've got these two bits glued together, then what you need to do is you need to glue them on so that the opposite tracks of the ends are like this. Does that make sense? So look, I've got a track there and that's going this side. I've got a track there and that's going the other side. So like that. And then do the same again, glue them on with the tracks nice and level. Five minute epoxy is probably a quicker way, it's probably a more secure way to do this. And again, there's still no guarantee that this is going to go together. <laughs> these, dry, these runners will may not even get in there. So I'm happy with that. I will give that a little bit more of a going over. So there we go. That has not worked again. And that's the third one I've tried. And I've done it exactly right. I've poured it exactly right. And these moulds are just... I know some people are having really good success with it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a way to do this that is going to give you a box that is nice and pretty, but that is going to be much better and easier to use. And this is the trouble with putting resin on resin when it's it doesn't stick strong enough. So if you were to sell these, you would get people coming back to you quite a lot because this UV resin will just, once it's cured, will just pick off this shiny resin. And that's no good. And so you really do need to use something that's going to hold this together much better than what this is going to. Because let me show you. This is UV resin. It's nice and cured. And it's a good quality UV resin. And look, it will just come off there. Because it's like, it, it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. I know I will get a hundred, probably more, nasty comments about, oh, I make it work and they're brilliant. And I'm really pleased for you. But I know a lot of people that can't and I can't either. I'm going to quickly show you how to do this simply, which will look just as pretty. My advice is put it together like this. And as you can see, this isn't at the moment glued together or anything. I've just put the pieces in where they should roughly go. And this one here so that you've got a nice flat top because we're going to make the lid in a different way. And I'm then going to use some five minute epoxy to glue this together. Now five minute epoxy does dry quite clear and it will be a lot harder than the UV resin. I'm going to put a little bit on here. I'm going to glue all these bits together first like this. So it's going to look like this. This is still going to be a little bit more recessed than the other side. But that's not a problem because the bottom will be nice and flat. And that's what's important really when you want the box. So the bottom's going to be nice and flat. I've got 
got my five minute epoxy mixed up and I put some on here, put some on here and on there. And now I'm popping this onto this base. And now what I'm going to do is do the other side as well. So I've got some on here. I'm going to put a little bit on here and a little bit along this ridge here. And then I'm going to pop this one on. Now I want this chip to be at the bottom that I did. So I'm just going to pop that onto there. Now that five minute epoxy will dry clear but it will dry in about five minutes unlike the uv resin which dries really really quickly obviously once you've got uv lamp on it i'll leave that now for five minutes and then i'll come back and i'll show you what i'm going to do with the lid once that is all nice and cured and dry and i know this isn't how it's supposed to do but it works really really well and it's a lot less hassle and you get it every time way to do it without a shadow of a doubt and i'm so pleased for all those people that get it right but i just either it's because i have a tremor and i can't hold it tight enough or or oh i don't know it's probably just excuses i'm not gentle enough and i make a mess with it and i over pour don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring my notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos okay so this is now all put together and as i said i wasn't overly careful on how i put this bottom bit together and what i've done is i've secured Cured that bottom bit in now so it can't slide open so this is always going to be the top and it also gives it that little bit more less messing about and allows you to have it a little bit more open so you can slide that top in now and you always have the flat bit towards the end so you can pull that out now what i want to do is because it still pushes that and it's quite tight i'm going to put these little corner clasps on and i will link these in the description below don't worry so you can get hold of them they're dead cheap and they look really nice I think and they finish it off and what I'm going to use to put those on with is just some little tiny nails and the little tiny nails do come with them as you'll see here and these little tiny nails are about the same width as this drill piece that I've got here on my Dremel. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill them through and then I'm going to glue them in using some super glue. So they stay in there, but they will also give it that extra bit of support and rigidity. And to be honest, I quite like the look of how it looks. Now, if you haven't got a Dremel, then you can do this with one of those little hand drills. It just takes a little bit of extra time, but be careful, go in like so. So, and this is for all those people that don't want to spend a lot of time oh, I need this one, messing about <laughs> trying to fiddle away with this. And especially if you haven't got one of the best moulds, if it's got a slight bit of damage to it or it's not slightly right. Oh, look at that. They're magnetic. So that's really useful. And then all you do is you pop this in using a little bit of super glue into that hole and it should just push into the hole that you've made and then glue it in and that will give it also a little bit more rigidity so i'm just going to go ahead and finish that off so that that is all nicely done and ready for showing you the next bit so now they're nicely on the bottom and i really do like them and what they do is they really give it a lot of rigidity and it's nice and firm and they aren't going to go anywhere and now, because you've got that rigidity, you can't pop those sides off. And the top bit, even though it's a little bit tight, but you can sand it down, will slide in. But it's not going to slide in all the way to the very end because I've not allowed it for that. But what it does, it gives you a little bit of a lip here, as you can see, to pull that out. So now what we need to see is if the dominoes will fit in it. Oh, I'm so sorry for this being such a long video. But hopefully it's worth it for all those people that want to make domino boxes who have commented to me that they just don't work. And do you know what? I can understand your frustrations. Now, I don't know how dominoes are supposed to go in here. Are they meant to go in like that? Or like that. Oh, there we go. And this is a full set of dominoes anyway. So I made these quite a long time ago. They all fit in there nicely. And that lid now should just slide on like so. It isn't going anywhere. They're quite safe in there. And now they are all done. The box is done. I think it gives it a little bit more character and... 
Actually, it covers up that great big chip that I took out of it as well. The lid will slide off nice and easily because it's not so tightly put together because I haven't, when I've glued this together, I haven't glued it together so tight that you can't run it through. Well, I'm so pleased with this project because to be honest, the project drove me insane. And I'll show you why. Because this is not the first one I have made and, oh, I've chucked all the bits away. I got so frustrated with the first one that I didn't put it together and I just left it because it kept popping off with the blimmin' UV resin. But what I'm going to be doing now is I'm definitely going to be doing it this way so then I'll have two. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you would like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you, <laughs> my goodness me, this has been a struggle, then I really do appreciate appreciate it and the link to that and link to everything that I've used today is in the description below. Thank you very much. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.